Welcome back to Who Food Ventures. Recently, our garden club went on a field trip to Jungle Nursery. Ken, the owner, took us on a tour and showed us his exotic tropical plants and trees that many people don't think will grow here in Arizona. Let's watch. Different location, live like about probably total with the nursery like about 17 years. Um, um, like, you know, created. And the customer requesting it, most is for Asian, and they say, uh, can I have this? I can't find it. I can't find it mm -hmm. anywhere. So I'm just grow from seed. I go, hmm, okay, this is going to grow really good. So that's how it started about mm -hmm. 17 years ago. Mm -hmm. During that time, Home Depot don't have it, nobody have it, and specialty industry don't have it. So that's how I found it. Mm -hmm. become more and more now. I mm -hmm. put the job and just doing this, and I still maintain uh, about like eight to ten house, like you know, I'm more in specialty in bonsai, topia, mm. more like maintenance, like uh, very uh, unique, different plant that I, I do for some people. Everything I plant, uh, what I sell, I put in the ground. So basically, show the customers that hey, I can't grow it's like that and grow. It's called turd cap hibiscus. Oh, it's hibiscus. Okay. Yeah, and they won't open it just like that. A lot of people think it's a Christmas tree, uh, Christmas light, I still got it anyway. <laughs> Different than most of y'all you see. Yes. Uh, I plant like very unique plant, like something like you don't see them around. What is the name of the one, this one here? This yeah. one, Bismarck here. Bismarck? Uh -huh. What's that part, last one? Yeah, I call it Bismarck. Bismarck. Yeah, Bismarck. Uh, and oh. it got silver, almost look like a silver uh, blue Mexican, but it's not. It's got one to grow up a little bit. It got fractal on the leaf. Crow of thorn. I haven't seen them around in the nursery. Is it a particular species? They just call the muni, mini, uh, the tiny one. Oh, but the they mini. bloom there. They bloom throughout the year like this okay. and green like this. Doesn't drop their leaf if that doesn't get cold. Okay. And they bloom just like this okay. all the time. And they can take morning sun really good. Too much sun they burn. And uh, just like I said, the most easy plant. This one right here is one of a tropical plant too, it's called the uh, uh, creeper uh, ragoon. And it got usually the flower coming out and the vine. And usually in the morning, they're white. And midday, they pink. Ooh. In the end of the day, they turn red and they go. So oh. Every day? Every day. And this is uh, the night bloom, it's jasmine. It's gonna be bloom very soon. The reason is they only bloom at night. I mean, like the smell at night. They bloom. Say the name again. Night blooming the jasmine. This only smell from like six o'clock at night all the way until the six o'clock in the morning. That's it. Days have no smell. Yeah, from area, I got like three variety right here. Again, this is the uh, uh, Japanese twins. And once again, we use this for the spring and also for New Year's. They've got the red one right there. Blooming out, yeah. To train them, to train like take about a year, some fast growing. You know me, I like anything exotic and anything that if people you can push can't the grow. Race, then you're happy. <laughs> anything people can't grow, I want to try it. That's why I try it here. That's how I put it in the ground, it grow. Hey, I'm selling it. <laughs> Bow tree. How, how do you spell that? B O. Oh, just wait. <laughs> Both of them. It's only two years. Almost yeah, two years. So it'll years. grow like you. Yeah. Like this can grow like about like, uh, 40 feet easy. And this is related to ficus farming, just like the ficus. Oh, okay. And the growing, the freezing, same thing. If it got freezing, then it freeze. Tell us which plant this is. This is a moringa tree. You can get them from Ken here or Shamus O'Leary. And what's so special about it? Um, it has a lot of nutrients. Good for your body. Take care of you in just one gram. You can eat the pods, the leaves, and a lot more. How does it taste? Very good. Not litter. Hey, give me a piece. All right. And it's worth, you can use out of the drink to cool this. Sell out that usually in the uh, Asian market. Usually like have that trick for you, or you can sell eat the leaves at what pen is right there. What's this <coughs> plant right here? This one right here, actually, that the uh, that switch off. Okay. Yeah. A switcher. Yeah. And this is another plant right here in the dish. Usually that leaf right there is good for like the high blood pressure, diabetes, all kind of stuff right there. No. Sometimes for the scramble eggs. 
Or the spinach, like you know, eat the leaves out. And that plant right there is really good for liver. Now with the little yeah, real, when I see right there, they get in your bowl, they hook on your, your plant. You're talking about this? Yes. Make soup out of it. The leaves just strip the leaves. Almost look like moringa leaves. Mm -hmm. And you can combo lace and put moringa leaves and then cook them in soup. This one right here is called a jelly grass. Like, you know, you took the leaves and you kind of punch it out and you make jello. Jello out of jelly grass. That one. This one is. Oops. What is it? Guava. Oh, it's guava. Yeah, tropical yeah. white guava. Really good for a, a female. If you eat them, they get the acidic, it just yeah. balance, it balance mm. you out and keep your skin smooth and the women love them. Okay. Okay. This is yeah, the Thai basil? This is a little bit bigger, oh, but it's not that strong. Oh, okay. You can feel, like, you can feel the, the texture, it's not that strong, you have to quench. So as it gets bigger and older, it's not as strong? Oh, yeah. It, it not, it oh. just sort of rub the, rub the leaves. Yeah. But the Vietnamese mm. type, like that one, when you go to Vietnamese, oh, you I eat pho. Mm -hmm. You have to get this one. Get that you one. Put the wrong one in, it blows right. out. <laughs> right. And you can smell it. Make very, very good lemonade. Really? The compot. one you can eat the peel is a compot right behind you, right here. And I had um, right there. two varieties right now. That one right there, sweet. You can pick one and eat it. The sweet from outside, sour inside. This one, sweet total, inside out. That would be mine. And this, this uh, <laughs> Karen just pick up. This is one of my favorite too, and most people like this one better. Oh, the, the fruit is sweet completely. You can eat from the outside, inside. No, yes, I don't spray any chemicals on it. So just water. And then this tree right here from Australia called the uh, Queensland's bottle tree. Have you heard them? The tree turned into like a big vase. Very thriving out here. And when they're in the ground, they grow fast. Yeah. The, the inside smell really, really good when you burn them. Yeah, you can smell it. Got a very high scent on it. Yeah. When you burn them. What's it called, The Bursera. Like when you got to cut, like when they put the dog to use it, it be uh, kind of reddish. Not what it's coming from here. Like, you know, yeah. Yeah. They support to, yeah, they support to put over the cut. This tree right here in Madagascar. This is called a blood dragon tree. Very interesting. You take your teeth on it a little bit and it like mm -hmm. puts out the mm -hmm. sugar. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed our garden tour. We sure did. Until next time, do you hoo-foo?